test, sound test, sound test. Testing, testing, one, two, three. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Stan here, owner of no. the most advanced video gamer setup in YouTube history. Wait for me! I had a drink. Come on! If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal hey, danger. Is here. Also, the video, the video audio is way overpowering. Okay, so here's what no. I can do. I can go in an no. OBS and that's with that a little bit. Yeah, I just need to I should probably do like clear down here. Where am I? Okay, there's me. There's them. I mean, we'll want to hear the cutscenes, so I'd say that ought to be a good compromise. All right. Thank you, Jeb Jam. Find my GameCube controller. All right, let's see if this improves things. I want to hear it myself, actually. Take off my headphones and listen to it. Okay. All right, so uh, this is a goofy... <laughs> Really goofy, really dated old Harry Potter game. Uh, so I would call this a mediocre game, but uh, it's different from most mediocre games. Most mediocre games, they just aren't that fun. Uh, this one, I would say it's actually pretty fun for most of the game. It just has a couple of the worst design levels in the history of games. So if, if most uh, mediocre video games are just painfully average, this one is a really solid Legend of Zelda knockoff with a couple really, really dumb segments to it that almost spoil the whole experience, but I remember having tons of fun with this. Okay, wait a second. I'm probably going to have to erase a game file, aren't I? Uh, day five, day six. So I guess I will erase the night four one. All right. Uh, that is fair, and that is much better, says Jeb Jam. All right, good. Thank you, Jeb Jam, for your input. Yeah, because it's, it's always a little weird. Like, I don't know how gamers do it, because I've got, like, the headphones, which is the regular game audio, and then there's the YouTube video, which is behind you. Continue without saving. Wow, that'd be really risky. All right, we'll definitely want to save. Uh, yep, sorry whoever had this night, but we don't need a we don't need a night four game file. If the voice acting makes me cringe, I'll drink. Take a drink. <laughs> Man, I used to think these graphics were just the bomb when I was 12 years old. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? Bedzemptine, no note, cargo. 
Golden haired boy. You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been in the dirty so much this summer. I'm a little rusty. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, I can hex people. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can do like a Mega Man charge. Can I do any of that yet? Not quite. All right. JBM says the only thing that might be off now is the game audio might be too quiet, but at least we can hear you. But that might be me. All right. I could find like a happy middle ground because I I made it pretty low after the first comment, so we'll just try to. Uh, Porridge is too hot. Porridge is too cold. Hit the glass jar with flipendo. Well, this is flipendo, <laughs> so I can flipendo people off. All right, glass jar. Let's see here. Try flipendo on the power testing machine. Go on, Harry. Have a go on Dad's magical measurer. Well, which is it? In the glass jar with flipendo. That's Dad's power testing machine. Try casting Flipendo at it. You're going to die in book seven! Wait, can I hit him? <laughs> this is by far the most part, fun part of this game. It's just being a psychopath as Harry. Come on, Harry. Hit the glass jar with <laughs> Is it obvious I've had a drink? Oh! Oh, I hit it by accident. Nice! Truly smashing Harry. But um oh, when you're ready, we'll meet you in the barn. Oh no, I wanted to torture Ron more. Oh well. The icon in the corner of the screen is your remember all. You can access this anytime by pressing Z. When it appears, it means you have a new task. You can check it now. Oh yeah, you can get like lots of cool stuff like Birdie Bots every flavor beans, money. I don't think you use the money for much in this game though. But the coolest thing by far is the chocolate frog cards, and some of them are actually really hard to find. And it is really a hard—it's really hard to 100% this game because it's one of those games where if you miss something, you might not—you'll never be able to go back and get it. Oh yeah, maps, quests. Okay, that's where you keep the magic cards. Meet Ron, Fred, and George in the barn. All right. Okay, that's nice. Keep help you keep straight. What can I destroy? Hmm. When I learn some second year magic, I should be able to get the shield to the top. Hint, 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 gamers. When I learn some second year magic, I should be able to get the shield to the top. Nothing out here. Come on! There are gnomes everywhere! Marmaduke is being the best character here now. In the <laughs> okay, Harry, target the little pests and flipendo them off the rafter. Z targeting system like from Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, you! I haven't forgotten about you! Wait! Hey, Harry. There we go! Ha! Hey, <laughs> this never gets old! Ha! Target the gnome, Harry! Is there anything else in here? There's probably not a ton of stuff. Whoa, I forgot about this. Hey, off to a good start. My uh, RPG search. Number three, Elfrida Cloud. Oh, that's all he says. Okay, he doesn't read their cards. Good to know. I actually made a little audio book where I read all of those. There are 101 cards that can be collected. Increase your stamina bar with every 10 you collect. And there's actually a cheat where you can get infinite Knock ones of them. The rafter, Harry. No! I'll do what I want! I'm Harry Potter! Target. Oh, the sacks. That's right. You can use the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans as a form of currency in Hogwarts. Hey, wait a second. He wasn't behind anything. That was pretty good, Harry. 
You've got the little pests on the run. They're heading for the garden. We'll meet you out in the barnyard. Jeb Jam said, so it's about doing things in the right order then for 100%. Basically, like if you want 100% this game, it's best to have like a handy old-fashioned game fact next to you just to remind you to check in certain spots before you leave a certain area. I feel like if you're really thorough and look everywhere, you won't miss mm. anything. Perhaps I should go into the barnyard. Shut up, Harry! I'll do what I want! A turkey! I didn't know about that. That's right, Mr. Weasley likes to collect muggle stuff, so that makes sense. So is uh, so it is murder time in-game. I don't know what that means. You mean, like, when you can, like, attack everybody? Yeah, you can attack everybody, you just can't do much to them other than, like, sting them. Harry, we'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And watch out when the washing machine opens its door. And keep moving around it in class for Pender when the door is open. Jeb Jam asks if I'm talking about the card amount. Definitely, yeah. That's the only thing you can, like, miss out on in this game. Oh, yeah, you can dodge. Good to know. When its doors open. Oh, but that's when he's attacking me, you dumb twin. Whoa! You can only damage it when the door's open. This wasn't in the book. That sorted it, Harry. I'd love to see that in Aunt Petunia's kitchen. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. We'll meet you in the garden when you're ready, Harry. Oh. Come here, you. Alright, any junk here? They make a lot of little wry comments about where you're supposed to be. Gee! Stuff? I don't see any stuff. Alright. I'm paranoid about leaving things behind. We need to get a move on with the denoming. Mom will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look, there's one over there. What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. And chuck them out of the garden. Wow, I've got to try this. Be my guest. And remember, flipendo the gnome, pick it up, Spin it round and chuck it over the low wall. Okay. <laughs> I bet you can't throw a gnome as far as Fred did. Or Twelve year old me could. In the fields over there. I'm trying to remember if you have to hit the targets to get some things. Let's see. Okay, let's look for any secrets. Oh, there are only a certain number of gnomes in the garden too. So you gotta like, you gotta nail it in a few tries. Come to me. <laughs> I'm going to try to hit a target first. Oh dear. Yes. Okay. That part isn't too hard, but let's try it. It's it's hitting something that's act it's tough. Oh good grief. Oh, the green arrow. The green arrow. I've got to look for the green arrow. <laughs> Harry's drunker than I. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be hit, hitting any targets today, gang. I'm not the gamer I was when I was 12 years old. Oh, what about that? Number eight, Derwent Shrimpling. Hey, we got one. All right. 
So I should try to... Okay, so I got the Scarecrow. Now I want to go for the Haystack. Be gone. Is this a real game or a Zelda clone? It definitely has a Zelda uh, vibe to its all its mechanics and exploration. Well, hopefully I can get the last one before I run out of gnomes here. We're going to exterminate the gnome race. Hmm. I'm, I'm too I'm too late for the haystack. I mean, I've beaten uh, I've beaten uh, Dead Twins record already, so that's one thing. Oh no! Give it another go. It's late, boys. Time for bed. Big day oh, good grief! Captain Cummings is here. <laughs> we were just talking about Fred Wortham. You've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. That's foreshadowing. I think you deserve a chocolate frog. They give you a false notion of how many chocolate frogs you get in this game. When you've completed your task for the day, you will be given the option to end day in your remember all. At this point, you can continue to explore the world, or you can decide to end the day, and the next day's adventure can then begin. I want to get that freaking target, because I have a feeling there's like a secret frog card in there. I'm nothing if not thorough. Shouldn't be that hard. I just got to release a second earlier. Oh, aim with C stick. Good. Remember camera days back in the old days of gaming? Okay, too early. Brilliant throw, Harry. I like the interpretation of the gnomes because they're described as like potato men in the book, and they have kind of like potato-like qualities in the game. Dang it. Give it another go. I sure hope there, there better be a frog card for doing this. Oh, no, not quite. Ahoy there, says the, uh, the metal. We are playing a goofy old Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets uh, GameCube game, and it's ridiculous. I don't know if I'm going to make it, gang. You know what? I already did a video of the complete chocolate frog card, so I don't know if I'm going to go for a completionist run. I like the completionist. I, I, I like what it takes... Because uh, there are like a billion, you know, Let's Players, but his whole shtick is to actually like show you what it takes to finish the game entirely. Alright, we're gonna go for one last one. This is the fate shot. Otherwise, I'm I'm done. I feel like the only ones you really need to make sure you get are the exploration ones. Uh oh! Nailed it! And I didn't get anything. Good grief, all that, all right. How, how many li lives will die for the haystack? <laughs> they don't die, they always come back. Do you have anything to say? You're not not dead twin. Come on, let me out of there. Up, Potter. there, are gnomes over there. I got enough, you work. Hello there, soon to be dead guy. Don't forget to dodge when you're in the middle of a war. <laughs> I'm still salty about Fred dying. No. Oh, wait. And then to end, I have to go. This is the weird thing is you have to, like, go into your menu if you want to finish in advance. Where is it? Ms. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece, and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never traveled by flu powder before, and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. It felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open, but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then he fell. 
That's Jim Dale's voice, by the way, for the English, uh, the American audiobooks. I, I prefer him over Stephen Fry. Sorry, British uh, audiobook listeners. So this is a section where if you miss something, it'll be gone forever. <laughs> Dark, magical objects everywhere. Oh! Oh, hi. To sneak, press forward gently. Okay. Metal Gear Solid. Oh yeah, and this piece kind of acts as like a little bit of a flashlight. Doesn't matter if I attack everything as long as I'm sneaking. Man, I want to turn the brightness up on my T. Ooh, hello. It's Lucius and Draco Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Baldy. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you. Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day. It's really weird how these games kind of tell the story, but not quite. Like, they feel like uh, Harry Potter fan fictions, but ones that pretty generally follow the pattern. Wait, okay, that's where I was in, and then there's more stuff in there. Oh, well. Might as well save... Yeah, I obsessively save games. I never got over that habit. Okay. Ooh, search, search. A bean. A bean. A plum birdie bot's every flavor bean. Ha! Ooh, search. That's right, I'm Harry Potter. I steal what I want. Boogers, okay. Wait, I only have three beans. I guess I lost some from, from the gnomes. Search. Phlegm. <laughs> Good grief, this is so dark. Uh... I can't tell if I'm walking into a wall. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I've got this. I can, like, temporarily light things up. Well. This doesn't seem to be... This looks like a dead end. Okay, so this isn't very good game design because they're they have like a giant open path here. That has to be where I go, right? What else is in here? Will that attack me every time I run by it? Oh, the book! You have gained a new sm spell, Lumos. You can assign it to the B, Y, X button simply by pressing the button now. Spells or equipment can also be assigned in the inventory screen from your remember all. And a whole bunch of uh, data about the smell. That's kind of like more than I need to know.
All right, well, that's good to know. Now I can get through the darkness. I cast Magic Missile at the dark. Ooh, wait. That looks like a breakable wall. See, look at that. It's like not reflecting there. There we go! Treasure! Oh yeah, like a pumpkin pasty? Pastry. Pumpkin pastry. Oh, I've got to beat up some slaves. Okay. Uh, hello? Oh, okay. I can climb by running up to the surface. That wasn't obvious. Oh, I've got to put him in his cage. All right. Hey, slave. I've got to put you back in your cage. There you are. No freedom for you. I hate the darkness everywhere. Can I climb up this guy? There we go. What's that? Owl treats can be fed to owls to encourage them to do favors for you. Ah, oh, okay. You can't cast magic missile unless you have a target. I cast it on the darkness. Nerdy, la nerdy laughter ensues. Yeah, I'm a fake geek guy for uh, dra uh, Dungeons and Dragons because I just read a lot of Dungeons and Dragons memes. Shut up, you! You're gonna die too! In the sixth book, I think. Wait, is it sixth or seventh? When did they. Yeah, it was the seventh. It was the seventh one. Ilop's premium owl, owl treats. The best thing for a happy, healthy owl. Well, I have one of those. Is this Chamber of Secrets? I used to play this all the time as a get kid, says Florence Lupin. Yes, it is Florence Lupin. Florence Lupin is an artist, by the way. Go check him out. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. Nice to know she'd let me die if I didn't find a treat buried in a cha uh, what's it, chest somewhere. Frog card! Number 98, Dimpfner Firmage. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, okay, I see. I see. So the main problem with this game is it's really easy to fall down from one level to another which in some of the platforming levels is just 
an absolute pain in the butt. It definitely borrows from the Legend of Zelda style where you can't like jump around that easily. An 8-bit reenactment of Dungeons & Dragons is an internet video classic. I mean, I remember when that was first starting to go viral. Like, the, my roommates were great because they would watch a lot of YouTube and show me a bunch of stuff. Wait, are there two paths here? Only one path, okay. So they introduced me to a lot of the old gems from that era, like Ping, Ping I said everything like that. I've got, somewhere I've got a comic about my roommates I want to publish sometime. Keep a low profile, you can sneak by pressing Harry up against walls. You can also cast a spell while peeking around corners. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's over here? Just an alley. You don't use that mechanic that much in this game. There's some stealth. There are a few stealth levels that are kind of fun. Grab. Diagon Alley. That's it? So what else can I grab? That's locked. That door's locked. The door's locked. That door's locked. Oh, but... I never played Sorcerer's Stone, says Florence, but I get it for the graphics alone. No video game in the head, our lifetime will ever co come close to some punch for section. The gra graphics in Sorcerer's Stones were absolutely hilarious. I owned it for years, and I gave it away at some point before it became... before people started memeing it all the time. Uh, it's even clunkier than this one. But it's still another one where it's kind of, it's kind of fun for, for what it is. For a PS1 game, it was it was cool. The chess in Sorcerer's Stone was fun because they kind of like changed the rules of chess. Number five, Gulliver Pokeby. Oh, too bad I can't fl watch the original version on new gr grounds and have to watch it on YouTube or a Flash player because Flash died. Wait a second, I thought that they made like a uh, substitute for that because aren't a lot of the old... Uh... Yeah, there's like Swift players you can get for that. That is tragic though. Now wait, is Flash different than Flash animation software? Because if so many people use... Flash animation software. Like, I know that the internet is phasing out Flash, but aren't we still going to need it for all those old animations? I don't know. But I know, I'm sure that the metal, you could find like a Swift player or something that would let you, let you watch them. Hey, I made it out. Get through there. Nope, not through there. Can't get through there. The camera is my worst enemy. Moribunds. Can't get in there. There are a lot of locked doors in this game. Can't get in that way. So Moribund has a store there and a store there. Moribund's like the stock uh, Starbucks of Harry Potter. Hello? My favorite Lockhart book is Boy 
rages with vampires, but travels with trolls is also very good. My favorite Lockhart book is Voyages with Vampires, but travels with trolls is also very good. You have no taste. Ha <laughs> ha! Harry Potter strikes again. Harry. Harry, we hoped you'd only gone one far place too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. No powder at home. And I dropped all my things in the fireplaces I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry. But I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two, from Flourish and Blot, and a new potion bar from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blot's then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the hearth when you used the flu powder. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blot. She didn't talk in the book. She was too stunned by Harry's masculine charms. Uh, Logan Williams asks, can you break the pots? No, you cannot break the pots in this game. It's very Zelda-esque, though. <laughs> you can attack everybody. Well, do you have anything to say? Gilderoy Lockhart is a five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. And when you meet him face to face, you can see why. Talk to me, NPCs. No, you're too interested in each other. I bet they only have one line of dialogue apiece. Madam Malkin's robes. Can't get in there. Always nice to know that I could go into all of these Harry Potter locations, but the doors are just locked. <laughs> Florence Lupin, I used to beat the shit out of all the civilians with the flipendo tool. <laughs> That's the most fun part of this whole game. <laughs> Nothing? It's just a dead end? Attack. Charge it. Ow. Sorry. Is Flipendo in the book? I don't feel like I, you ever see Flipendo in the book. Oh, okay. I bet this is Gringotts, right? So I know the interior shots of Gringotts are filmed based on, like, the Bank of London or something. Ouch. Ow. Say something interesting, NPCs. No? Okay. Well, it's no fun if they just bounce up and down and don't give me anything. You know, when I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, I just look in my remember all. Is that an Irish or a Scottish accent? Pay attention to me! Pay attention to me! I'm the chosen one! I don't know that yet. Oh, is this important? Mole, pe mole peppers. What do I have to do here? Excuse me. How much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. Great. Let's try to buy it anyway. Excuse me. How much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. I can't afford it. I'm poor. Can't get through there. All right, I gotta go commit some theft or something. Some of the light effects are nice in this game. Kind of like to show you where the sunlight is. 
Incendio is the only spell worth learning. Yeah, I love Incendio. What else is there? Alohomora? You, I mean, the, its only use is to open up paths, but it's kind of cool that it's in the books and you can use it that way in the game to explore more stuff. Magical Menagerie. Well, the mena Magical Menagerie was like pets, right? A cat creeps me out, or whatever that magical animal is supposed to be. Oh yeah, I've got to sneak around here. Well, might as well commit some theft. I mean, he was rude and said we're closed. So that means I can just steal all of his stuff. Guilt-free. I know I'm supposed to do something here, but maybe I can't yet. What's Incendio do, asked Chaos. It sets things on fire. I mean, Flipendo's okay once you can learn how to charge it. Then you can do, like, uh, Mega Man charge shots. Alright, so I know i got to come back to the Magical Menagerie. Uh, Mole Pepper. So i got to go down this way. Do I know you? Oh, yes. You're the famous Harry Potter. Pleased to meet you. Be gone. Ice cream? Nope. Not through there. Oh, wait. Florian... Florian Fortescue's the guy who, like, uh, Voldemort killed, basically. Ouch. I know all these people who are gonna die in the books. Get in there. No Quidditch supplies. I guess uh, Diagon Alley must be having like Corona lockdown or something. Wise Acres, Wise Acres Wizarding equipment closed. Do I know you? Oh yes, you're the famous Harry Potter. To meet you. I wish they'd let you walk away if you've heard something before. Oh. <laughs> that Gildor Lockhart's a fascinating man. And so good looking too. Oh, please find my things, Harry. Oh, please find my things, Harry. Admit you have a crush on me! Admit it! Harry! Harry! Stop that right now, Harry! What's that? Adopt me! Adopt me now! Adopt me! <laughs> Harry 2, doors 94. Wait. The metal says setting things on fire will open up everything given enough time. I think there's a little sarcasm there. I like the coloring in this game. Like, I wish the lighting wasn't so dim. Do I know you? Yes, you do. No, You're no. The famous Harry Potter. Pleased to meet you. Man, you are stoic. Not even like a grunt. There's something here. How much is this book? The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Lysander Goshawk. Ah, now that would be one sickle. I'd like to buy that, please. Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the brook, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, and cast it when the spell is ready. 
But be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Oh boy. Whole bunch of reading we're not going to do right now. Yeah. Basically, if you overcharge your powers, it blows up in your face. What's my remember all say? Maps. Oh wow, you can go all the way back too, can't you? Borgen and Burks. Diagon Alley. It's nice that they thought this out. You don't really use these maps too much, but it's just kind of fun to go back and look at them. Maybe if you got really lost. I thought there was supposed to be like a cutscene here. Ever read Gadding with Ghouls by Gildor Lockhart, Mr. Potter? It's a cracking good read. I have a charge power. Oh, okay, it turns purple and you're in trouble. How much can I charge it before I'm in trouble? Okay, purple means I'm in trouble. Same thing with that. How much can I charge it? Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gandalf and Jake's. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my spell at him. So I think that must be in the Leaky Cauldron. Hmm. Magical menagerie, Gamble and Jake's, and the Leaky Cauldron. Got it. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. Now go on. Show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. Oh yes, let, let me show you what I can do with the uh, uh, the knowledge I have acquired from my reading. So what I've discovered is if I uh, charge my spell like so. Oh, oh, okay. That's not that's not quite it. Let me try it again. So if I charge it like so, Ow! isn't that great? Look at all the learning I've done. Ow! Aren't you proud of me? All right, where's the barrels? All right, I think that's all she says. Where are the barrels? I'm aiming for the barrels, Miss Weasley. I swear. There they are. Now I can get money. I can smash the pots. All right, what's down here? Like a shop? Gamble and Jake's Jeep's Wizarding Jokes Shop. Buy stock in Weasley Wizard Wheezes. Lupin says the third Harry Potter game is his favorite. Interesting. Breaking and entering. Where? Where? All right, soon I'll be breaking in, all right? Let me check out here. How much are stink pellets? Four sickles for a pack of ten. Don't have the cash. They're not that useful anyway. They're basically just like a uh, temporary distraction for certain bad guys. If you want to get the magical measurer to the top, you'll need to cast a perfect flipendo spell on it. To do that, build up the power of your wand for as long as you dare, and then cast the spell just before it overpowers. Alright, good to know. There it is, alright. Treasure? Alright. Well, let's try this. Not quite, alright. It's gotta be like before you see the color. Got it! I bet it's only temporary, is it? Toys? Stuff? No toys? 
Hey, it's still open. Nice. Nice to know I can just, like, wander around here and it's fine. Oh, more money. I want more money. Wait, can I go through there? Come on, why do they put a door there if I can't go through it? Wait a second. Okay, this is the secret door. So now the question is, what's back here? The laws of logic say if there's a secret door, there has to be something. Frog card! Number 32. Bridget Wenlock. Okay, I think we got everything here. Must escape the dark and dreary area. All right. Good old loading screens. Today it would be it buffering. Something down here. Flourish and blots. That's the book place? I've got to get Ginny's things and then we'll figure out what's in the book place. Have you anything to say, NPC? I know you. Oh, yes. You're the famous Harry Potter. You're Scottish. To meet you. Shut up. Oh. The Leaky Cauldron, all right. Cauldron. Logan commented, looks like you're spreading stinky gas. I don't comment on that. Well, don't you gentlemen with your alcohol want to talk to your 12 year old? Don't you have interesting things to tell me? Hmm, that looks interesting. Can't get through there. Nope, just a fascinating looking colored door with no way in for now. So that must be the leaky cauldron. In the leaky cauldron. Can't get in there. What do those signs say? I want to see that. Fair Fairbury spirits or something? Man, it's really hard to read those. I kind of want someone to pull the sprites out to see what if there's like an in-joke there or something. Hmm, this guy doesn't look that important. How about you? There's more than butter beer down in the cellar, you know, Mr. Potter. You don't say. There's more than butter beer down in the cellar, you know, Mr. Potter. So you're telling me you're inviting me to break an editor. Do I understand you correctly? Did I tell you? I've been having a bit of trouble 
shaking slugs. The Leaky Cauldron's the finest pub in London, Harry. It's got a huge cellar, you know. And there's more than butterbeer down there, right? I really miss Norbert. I think about him almost every day. Hello, Harry. I saw Mrs. Weasley looking for you. I hope you ain't been creeping around that nocturne alley. Terrible place. You best stay away. Yeah, <laughs> this camera. And I tell you, I've been having a bit of trouble lately with flesh-eating slugs. Okay, that's the exit. So, how do we get down to the basement? Oh! I got punked! We'll want a lot of these later. You can buy some good stuff with them. Give me thy beans. So I was thinking, you know how they have like Christmas games? Uh, like for Christmas you can buy like Birdie Bots every flavor of beans. I can't, I, we got some for Christmas and they were a blast at the party, but there's actually, there's literally no reason to eat them unless you're at a party and laughing at people making gross faces at them. I don't know, it, it, it's a fun novelty item anyway. I'm sure JK Rowling made a, another extra million from that. Okay, so I locked that. I love the music of the first three games. I believe the music was done by Jeremy Soule, the guy who did the Elder Scrolls music. How about that? It, it must be like a small world in the video game world, right? Beans, give me beans. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to fight some, like, monsters or whatever. Alright, where are they at? Now I'm legally allowed to kill some suckers. What are these guys? Oh yeah, Incendio is like the only way to kill them. They're like farting fire turtles or whatever. Okay. That should give us some breathing space. Ah, no! No! My money! You little monster! Ah, oh, good grief. So that basically, like, canceled me out. All right. No, no, no! Oh, oh, don't fart on me! <laughs> Danky Kang? Is that you? Well, wait a second. I know the barrels are coming, but where do I go? There we go. I'm still mad that tortoise farted fire all over me. Underpants? How does Harry know what underpants taste like? Spearmint. Can't fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't, can't get fooled again. As President George W. Bush would say. Oh, okay. Well, can I, can, I can sneak along the wall, right? Yeah, wall sneak. No! Okay, that's the kind of thing that drives me nuts, because you get to the end, and you think you're set, but nope, he has to run forward like six feet.
all the way. Ha! We can push this, right? There's something over there. Yeah, there's stuff over there. Okay, yeah, I gotta push the box over there. I'm sensing some Legend of Zelda inspiration right here. Oh, sick. No, come on. Oh, yeah, the, the main problem is going to be running off surfaces by accident. It's all coming back to me now. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! I survived your dungeon, Mr. Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron cellar is a great place to explore, Mr. Potter. There's more than butterbeer down in the cellar, you know, Mr. Potter. Treasure? Any treasure here? I don't see no treasure. Alright. So I guess we got So now that we've been invited to explore, uh, I guess that means we've been invited to explore everywhere, right? That's how it works. Let's go break and enter. Criminal record time. Finally, Marm is talking in the video, says Mr. Tim Lim. Correct. I talk in a lot of videos. It's just. Not the art videos. I don't know. I needed to have like a drink and play something stupid for a break. So. Alright. Where are we at? Where are we at? So. We've been to the Leaky Cauldron. Uh, well, Tim Lin wasn't here for this. So the, the most fun part of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for game, Nintendo GameCube is you can assault everybody. If I wasn't supposed to do it, they wouldn't have programmed you to respond! <laughs> Psycho killer potter. Alright. Oh yeah, I can break stuff now. So, I need to find uh, more sickles. And I know there are some barrels back here. Come to me, currency I will only use once, and then never again. Man, I got enough. I might as well buy some uh, stink pellets, come to think of it. Magical menagerie. Okay, that's where I got a break and enter. Oh, boy. Do you like Harry Potter? We like Harry Potter World and Universal but no interest in the books or movies. Uh, my argument about the Harry Potter books is they are the most surprisingly conservative books ever written, despite their reputation. Like, their reputation is they're the only books millennials have read, and so... I'm feeding the stock. Keep out. So millennials compare everything to Harry Potter, and they compare Drumpf to Harry Potter, but if you pay attention to them, like, like book two and book three are all about the importance of due process. Uh, I've talked about this a lot, but uh, Voldemort bans homeschooling, so they recognize the value of private education and homeschooling. They're surprisingly libertarian books, I think. Uh, so, I don't know. One of these days I'm gonna... I, I've got, like, a thesis in my head for why Harry Potter is not awful, and... But, because I kind of recognize that a lot of people, they the only book they read is Harry Potter, and that's not good, but if you kind of look at it as what it is, it's kind of like a fun children's fantasy series, there's some surprisingly deep th themes throughout. Well, you're mean, so that means I can break and enter all I want. Kids today. Ha! <laughs> Kids today, and they're Nintendo GameCubes, and they're PlayStation 2s. Man, kids today, they're still here, so I better show them how to use my system here. If I'm careful... 
careful. I should be able to creep past him. Oh crap, yeah, awful, uh, awful camera time. See, this is theoretically where you're supposed to use wall sneak, but unfortunately... Shout! I wonder if the noise of a spell might distract him. Good thinking. Awful camera. Good grief! No! Ah! <laughs> Subterfuge fail. I thought flower worms were harmless. Florence says he loves uh, Jordan Peterson's take on the basilisk. So I know that Jordan Peterson talks about snakes a lot, but like, is there? Does he have like anything more specific about the basilisk other than that? Like the snake is kind of a symbolic representation of chaos and evil. The other. If I'm careful, I should be able to creep past him. By which I mean run away. There we go. Shoot, where are you? Ah! Nothing like sneaking around when I don't know where the guy is. Hint, hint. Okay, now I see it. Ah ha ha! I survived! And he forgot where I am. Now I steal your shit, because you're mean. Number 28. Tilly Tote. I would recommend the uh, American audiobooks for Harry Potter if you're looking for a way to experience them. Because then you can draw while doing it. Uh, Jim Dale's a very good narrator. Does all the voices. Well, I don't care if he catches me now because uh, he'll just kick me out. Let that be a lesson to you. Okay, Boomer. Language, says the Thunder Drum. <laughs> The metal says, I believe it has something to do with the fight, flight, or freeze mechanisms in animals and how the basilisk turns people to stone. But it has been quite some time since I heard it. Yeah, uh, like Asmodeus has that too in Redwall. Like, and uh, Rudyard Kipling mentions it, like the hypnotic gaze of snakes. Wait, did he? Okay, so he caught me sneaking around, he froze me, and then he threw me in his cellar. I think, I think Mr. Malkin's menagerie here has got some serious explaining to do. Why are you throwing children in your cellar? Wait, where's the door? Oh, good. I'm just going to run into him by accident eventually. Where's the exit? Oh. Good grief. Hypnotic gaze. Leave my shop, you little monster. Let me leave! Let me leave! You're kidnapped me! Alright, so this time I gotta pay attention to what wall I'm looking for when I get out of here. I'm just losing beans like mad. Maybe I should actually try to wall sneak. Actually use the mechanics the way the game designers intended. Shit! Ah, no! That scared me. 
Well, are you ever gonna- I have to wait for him to casually sneak up. Let me go! Let me go, please! Okay, I know where to go. I know not to use wall sneak, because that just lets him waltz up on you casually. I see you, boy. Ah! No! 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 Go away and stop bothering my creatures, boy. Ugh. Note to self, I'm never going to drink before I play Harry Potter again. On the one hand, it makes it more tolerable, but on the other hand, it makes it harder to focus. Okay, where is he? He's not over here. There he is. Made it. Alright, as long as you get to the door, you're safe. Oh, that was a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> the Metal and Jeb Jam basically wrote the same comment at the same time. Alright, so let's see. We... Is that all three items? We got the Menagerie. We got the... Uh, what's the other one? Mole pepper. Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. I'd like to buy that, please. And I'm going to go ahead and buy stink pellets because there's no use for Thank sickles. You. You're very welcome to fill your potion file with Wigan World Stamina Potion. The Wigan World's in the large cauldron over there. Skimmed a bit of JP's video on the Basilisk. I believed his lecture was how, in order to achieve a great reward, the Phoenix tears that heal Harry, you must confront your fears. Yeah. Kind of like that, like, internal psychology stuff. Like, I disagree with some of Jordan Peterson's interpretations, but I think that his way of looking at stories is completely fascinating. So I thought it would be fun to do some, like, good old Jordan Peterson clickbait or what, whatever and do, like, kind of like my cartoonist response to him. I've done, like, one... They take, they take longer to do, but I'd like to do, like, maybe some cartoonist takes on his ideas. I saw that George Alexopoulos submitted to uh, be an, maybe be an illustrator for Jordan Peterson's book. I'm sure hundreds and thousands of illustrators submitted to that. Money? 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 Well, money's useless anyway, so I might as well move forward. Okay, the, the magical kidnap children and throw them in his basement menagerie. I learned something about the Harry Potter universe today. All the clothes stores. Not clothes stores, but closed stores. Buy stink pellets. <laughs> Invest in stink coin. <laughs> Stink pellets. Four sickles for a pack of ten. Some stink pellets. You now have some stink pellets. Uh, to throw stink pellets, press the appropriate button. Apart from being great fun, stink pellets can be used to stun small magical creatures or get you out of a sticky situation with prefects. All right, some they're okay. Might as well have some. Phew, my pockets are nearly full. Let's see.
Uh, Munchie Sanchu has joined us. Hello, Marmaduke in chat. Uh, Jeb Jam. So kidnapping and Harry attacking people. Right, right. This game is all about kidnapping and Harry attacking people. Whoa. Is that Harry? I found all your things, Ginny. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. No, really. It was nothing. I mean, you can kiss me if you want. Boy, Harry. Here, have a chocolate frog for your efforts. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Gilderoy Lockhart signing copies of his latest book in Flourish and Blots. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? Oh, uh, well, okay then. Thanks. Let's go inside. Uh, Munchie Sanch, she says, why don't they cut? Why do they need stores? Why can't they conjure what they need? There's some kind of like explanation in the book that certain types of complicated items can't be conjured. So it's like like if you have food, you can you can and you can make the food bigger, but you can't just summon food out of nowhere. It's why transfiguration magic uh, is so difficult. Is you're trying to transform one life form to another. Like she basically gives like very minimal explanations to these kind of questions. And I feel like that's enough. Like her blog is where she explains all the dumb stuff with details that you just don't need to read because they're obnoxious. And the metal says, I prefer his maps of meaning to Campbell's The Hero of a Thousand Faces. It assumes you've read the latter, but isn't as contrained. Do you mean contained or something or constrained? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that this term, I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> they're not clapping! Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter's got a girlfriend. I yes, I do. Parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. Here, girl, take this one. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Foreshadowing! So subtle! Let me give you some coaching, Harry. Fame is a fickle friend, and I would encourage you to be careful how you play the fame game, so to speak. Be sparing with your public appearances at first, and watch the company you keep. Harry! Why, I remember the time when I was writing my second bestseller, Gagging with Cools. Harry, we've missed the train! <laughs> the more exposure I got in the press, the better my career would progress. <laughs> Miss the train? Trouble was, I became overexposed. Yes, the Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago. And it wasn't until I went mysteriously missing for three weeks. Oh no, what are we going to do? Subsequently leaking the story to the prophet. Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. <laughs> it's parked in Charing Cross Road. I love how they cut out the entire subplot for why they're late for the train, and they just have Gilderoy Lockhart talking our ears off. <laughs> That's why we're late. <laughs> Uh, Florence Lupin. I heard the wizards at Hogwarts actually keep elves in the kitchen like slaves to conjure up the foods to the kids when they all gather to eat. Right, right. Uh, that's uh, book four. It's a subplot in book four that's not in the I'll movies. In the the leaky Munchie Potter's a Chad. I think he's pretty Chad-like, yeah. He's the everyman. Woo! All right, we're gonna finally gonna get to Hogwarts. The Leaky Cauldron, right? The Leaky Cauldron.
man, I'm, about, I'm a good like uh, 15 seconds ahead of you. Must be that uh, coronavirus lag. Wait, I've got to meet him in front of the leaky cauldron or in it? Did I tell you I've been having a bit of trouble lately with flesh-eating slugs? Yep. I thought he said in front. What do my reminders say? Meet Ron in the leaky cauldron courtyard. Oh, here we go. Nope. Florence Lupin would be interested in seeing them expand the Harry Potter world in TV shows and stuff without J.K. Rowling's input. Yeah, I don't feel that good about anything she's done with Harry Potter since leaving the franchise. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the story of the play. People tell me that the uh, like the theater magic of it is fantastic, but I, I, I read the script and I didn't like it. Uh, and what's it? The, what do you call them? The Magical Beasts movies? They're just okay little movies. I don't. I don't think they're that. I. I really like that Grindelwald trigg triggered people because people realize he's a villain who has a point, and that made them think, no, you can't have a villain who has a point. If he's a bad guy and he's Hitler, that means he's always bad, right? <laughs> come on, come on. There. So I know you're awake. So now talk to me. Let's talk, NPC. Wizards are allowed to use magic if it's a real emergency. Section 19 or something of the uh, re restriction thingy. You're sure you can fly it okay? What's it look like? I'm doing all right, aren't I? Yeah, I suppose. So far. The metal says I haven't been happy with anything she's done with the franchise since after Order of the Phoenix. Yeah, Order of the Phoenix was a good book. Oh, good grief. Yeah, the Whomping Willow. I've got to, like, climb down or something. You mean the great Deku tree? I'll come and get you. Just hold on. I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry. Okay, so there's the car. Great camera. Whoa, okay. Bad guy, bad guy. No, I want my beans. I worked so hard for them. No! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah, uh, nope. Nope. I am without defense. I guess I can shoot them. You mean I can actually shoot someone who's not innocent in this game? Nice. Okay, I can climb up here. Okay, that doesn't help. Puff pods can be hit with flipendo and thrown. Their spores cause dizziness. What am I? No! What? 
So I got hit for no- Ah! I have three beans. I'm so poor. Oh. Okay, wait a second. I'm missing something here. Like I'm supposed to use the puff pod for something. Am I supposed to sneak along the wall? Ah! I'm gonna have no beans. Oh well. Okay. Oh, wall sneak. There we go. Yeah, that's not very obvious. Ha! <laughs> Just walk and hope I don't get hit. Alright. Oh, I made it. No. Oh, good. Oh, good grief. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, what's we, what are we up to, chat? Vintage Revil Cam. Shoot, Ron. He has suffered enough. <laughs> Okay, I can crawl into that. That's good to know. Oh, good grief. Good grief. <laughs> Everything hurts. Am I banding, Ryan? I just want to get to Hogwarts. That's the most fun part of the game, is exploring Hogwarts. Okay. Uh, I guess there are a bunch of, like, tree monsters. What are they called? Ah! Nasty little booger. Ah. Okay, so first I gotta commit genocide. I gotta genocide these tree suckle things. And then I can explore safely. Yoo-hoo, come out. I won't hurt you too much. There, all right. Oh, okay. Nice of him just wait there for me to, th to, to zap him. Cauldron cake. Nice. Someone farted. Yeah, those are the birdie bots every flavor beans. If someone is, if a birdie bot every flavor bean is bad, then it underpants. It makes that noise. A lemon one. Banana. Cherry. 
I mean, I can still use them to buy stuff, so I don't care if they taste bad or not. Can I climb? Oh. Aha uh ha. -huh. Uh, don't want to fall down again, so be careful. No! I saved it? Oh, good grief. Oh. Wonky controls for the win. The other weird old game I want to play sometime is The Hobbit. Which had, like, absolutely no connection to any movie. Somebody just got the rights to turn The Hobbit into a video game during the GameCube era. Number four. Rogan Stump. There has to be something up here I can use. What am I missing? Is there a path? treasure. Can I climb up here? Nope. I can look at the map. Oh, that's really helpful. Do I have to backtrack? I have a bad feeling I'm missing something. Like, there's just some obvious path that I'm walking right past. There are tons of Hobbit and Lord of the Ring games. Yeah, I, now that I've reread Lord of the Rings, I kind of want to play some games to see if any of them are any good. Some people have said there are some really decent ones with really decent stories. Ugh. I'm disgusted by this level of design. What other Hobbit games are there, though? Because I know there was the GameCube. Hobbit, but are there other... How many other video games are there literally adapting The Hobbit? I guess there might be some about Peter Jackson, right? Hey, is that important? Yes, that's important! That's important! That's important! Hedwig. Students are warned that the area surrounding the Whomping Widow and the Forbidden Forest on which reporters are out of bounds this is due not in the least to the number of wild guy trashes that roam the forest. What? This is due not in the least to the number of guy trashes that roam the forest. If students should find themselves being approached by these giant dog spirits, they are advised that they can be warded off with a Lumos spell. That's it? Okay. So I can use Lumos if I see giant dog spirits. Oh, uh oh, oh, bad guys. Okay. Maybe. No, okay. Is there something up here? Oh, I can go this way. Good. Oh, no. Spooky. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Hello. How you doing, buddy? How are ya? What am I supposed to do with you guys? Aren't you guys lovely? Wait. Do I just like zap them with light? Oh! Feel the UV radiation. Cinnamon and grapefruit, nice. Now what? I killed him. There we go. Wait, is there treasure? Treasure. 
Treasure. Treasure. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see. Shadows of Mordor, Shadows of War, Hobbit Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, I like the GBA LOTR games because of the RPG aspects. War in Middle Earth was neat if you like boomer games. All right. War in Middle Earth. So was that like one of those old like text? No! Ah! Ah! Bad! Bad monsters. Go away. Die. Pain. Destruction. Death. Doom. Ah, uh, you lose beans. I'm going to lose so many beans. As long as I have a round 50 by the time I meet Fred and George, I guess I'm okay. Ah. Oh. Where are we at? Come on, you little sucker. Just literally just wait. Wait for them to sneak up on me in the dark. Because they stand out so well. Dark brown things on a dark brown background. Ooh, okay. And there's a sucker up there. Oh, ah, uh, stupid obstacles. Yeah, basically, if one of them starts hitting you, you just have to, like, take the hit and say, Oh, sorry, gang. Wait until you murder them all and then go collect your stuff. Ah, be gone. Ha ha, they're dead. Well, okay, well, I know I've got, like, a potion here. Uh... I might need it. How do I use it? How do I use my potion? Because there's potion stuff right here. Oh, I need health. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Oh. Have we exterminated them yet? Okay, there's one more left, I think. There he is. Uh, how do I get over there? Number seven, Hesper Starkey. Doc, no, I want to kill them all. I want them all dead. Ah, oh. wait, there's one more. Ah, oh. <laughs> I got hurt, hopping down. You who? Come on, little buddy. I know I killed all your friends, but I want to throw a tea party for you. Okay, he must be up high somewhere. It still bugs me that I haven't figured out how to use this. Does it automatically activate when I die? I don't know about that. There you are. Come here, little buddy. Come out. Come out and say hi. Ah, oh, we exterminated them. Hooray. Can I hop over there? It's a bit of a jump. Yes. There better be treasure here. 
I feel like these puff skins are gonna murder me. <laughs> hey, there is treasure. Nice. A cake. Whoop de doo. Ah, I needed some healing. Oh, come on, I just killed you. Uh, what am I missing? I got that. Okay, I can't go back here at all. Nice invisible wall. Not very obvious what climb in there, maybe? That's how I got in here, wasn't it? I climbed in. Oh, I bet I'm supposed to cross over that tree branch or whatever it is. Let's see if I can figure that out. Oh, I kill it. And then the last little bit of gas gets you, farts in your face, and you run off the edge. Yeah, I remember why I quit this game when I was 12 so many times. I beat it twice, so you, I, di I did force myself through the frustrating sections. Let it go away. There we go. We're gonna chat. Chat Harry's gonna save Ron's virgin butt, and then we're gonna crash at Hogwarts and call it a day. What kept you, Harry? I can't hang around here all night, you know. Bad game design kept me, Ron. Am I going to relieve you? Is there some kind of weak spot on the tree you could cast a spell at? He says in front of its giant eyeball. <laughs> Okay, wait. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm gonna lose all my beans. Now, how do you do this? Can I... There we go. Okay, so zap the hand and then zap the face. Oh, thank you, Hedwig, for whatever you did there. I see. Oh, he's trying to smash me with the car. Okay. I love how I can just, like, stand over here and I'm okay. Loop to you. Hey, tree, I'm over here. Where, okay, where in its cycle do I hit it? That's it? That's the only opening I get? I mean, I guess I was trying to charge my shot, so instead of charging my shot, I should just, like, press the button like a madman. I'm so challenged! I'm so challenged right now! Come on, dude! So the key to defeating this boss is to stay far away from it, let it finish its cycle. Oh, it finally found an attack that can hit me while I'm over there. Give me an opening. I'm literally just standing back here. Ah, that's stupid rocks, okay. What's hitting me now? I mean, I know I'm a stinking coward, but... And when it, they hit you, they restart, they restart their animation cycle. Huh, rock? Yeah, yeah. There, huh? 
Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Oh, it was nothing. Anyway, we better get a move on. Nothing for a chad. Snape catching us out so late. Why don't you try that door, Harry? Yeah. The only thing I'm not looking forward to this term is seeing Snape. Let's just hope he's left because he missed out on the defense against the dark arts job again. Or he might have been sacked. I mean, everyone hates him. Or maybe he's waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the Hogwarts Express. Professor Snape! We, uh, we were... In my search of the grounds, I noticed that considerable damage seems to have been done to a very valuable Whomping Willow. I will be speaking with Professor McGonagall later. That tree did more damage to us than we... Silence! I would advise you both to make your way immediately to the Gryffindor Common Room. But Professor Snape, we... Go! And count yourselves lucky. If I should catch either of you out after tonight, I will definitely deduct house points. Man, he's a lot more of a, a fair teacher in the game. Alright, do we make it? Uh, oh, the castle grounds, okay. I probably can't do much exploring, can I? Oh, they would let you. All right, there's no point, though. I got to Hogwarts. We really ought to go in. I love his big anime eyes in the game. Oh, it loaded the wrong music for a second. Why is it doing that? It keeps changing. Do you have any suggestions, mate? I remember the way to Gryffindor, I think. Yeah, my favorite part of this whole game is the construction of Hogwarts. That's the coolest thing, is to walk around it. Well, you know it from the books, anyway. Listen to that. It keeps changing. Transfiguration. Charms in the library. Why, if it isn't young Potter, how are you? Glad to be back at Hogwarts? Well... I would be, Nick, if Professor Snape hadn't caught me outside. Well, I suppose that rules are there for a reason, although sometimes the reason escapes me. Yes, you shouldn't be up this late, you know. Better get back to the Gryffindor common room before Professor Snape catches you again. Goodbye. Bye, Nick. Defense against the Dark Arts. History. Do you hear that? That's driving me nuts! Non-magical studies, ancient runes, arithmancy in Gryffindor Tower. All right, we're up near the top. So, like a seven-floor mansion to explore. I don't know if I want the beans yet. Oh, and the ghosts hurt. Do they? Yeah, they always hurt. Of course I want the password. How am I to know that you two aren't Slytherins disguised as Gryffindors? Because we don't look like gorillas, that's how. There you are. Someone said you've been expelled for crashing a flying car into the Whomping Willow. Well, we haven't been expelled. Look, just tell us the new password, Hermione. Oh, very well then. It's Wattlebird. I'll meet you inside, Harry. Munchie says, have you seen Wizard People, dear reader? I have never heard of that. Is it a fan fiction? And Florence Lupin would be interested in a Harry Potter RPG. 
Well, they have like Harry Potter Pokemon Go. Isn't that enough for you? You can turn your cell phone into a wand. The Mona Lisa? <laughs> Oh yeah, you've always got to sneak past Percy if you want to buy anything. Munchie Sanchi says it's sort of fan fiction. Kind of a rewrite fan dub meant to be played over the Harry Potter movies. Interesting. And uh, the Bunderdrome says, Harry Potter go to the polls. Hot sauce! Now I always found if you just like ran super fast, you could get past him. Yeah. Ah, design flaw in the game. He has no idea I was there. You finally made it then. Heard about the Ford Anglia. Mom's gonna kill Ron when she finds out. I bet it was worth it to see Snape's face when you landed. Sort of. Anyway, welcome to our shop, Harry. Yes. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard weezers and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates and the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. Bertie bots every flavor beans. We're sure there's something here you'll like. So there's cards. What is that? How much is this stink pellet bag? 20 Bertie bots every flavor beans. Non-explodable luminous balloons. What do they cost? 20 Bertie bots every flavor beans. I'm too poor for anything. How much is this egg a stroga card? 30 Bertie bots every flavor beans. Is there anything here that interests? How much is this Bertie Bots bean bag? Twenty Bertie Bots every flavor beans. Everything's twenty. This Beatrix Bloxham card. How much is it? Thirty Bertie Bots every flavor beans. How much is a pack of stink pellets? Twenty Bertie Bots every flavor beans. The Archibald Alderton card. How much is that? Thirty Bertie Bots every flavor beans. A balloon holster. What does this cost? 20 Bertie Bots every flavor beans. Everything's 20 or 30. The limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? 30 Bertie Bots every flavor beans. Albert Grunion, the inventor of the Dun Bomb. How much is that? 30 Bertie Bots every flavor beans. How much is this Wigan Well potion vial? 100 Bertie Bots every flavor beans. Good grief. It's like an extra life, basically. Pellets are a great way to stop prefects catching you. But I didn't tell you that. Did I? How much is the Alahamora spell book? 100 Bertie Bots every flavor beans. Good grief. Wait. Oh, okay. That's how I get back out. So, uh, Munchie Sanchi says, Wizard people, dear reader is available on YouTube. I am allowed in the library too, mister. I can study here if I want. No, I can't. He rules with an iron fist. He doesn't study, he just walks around. Get back to the common room, Harry. I'd like to find a safe spot, and then we'll call it a night here in a second. Oh, okay. Let's see, all this stuff. Surely there's got to be a scroll around here somewhere.
Oh yeah, guys night. How do I end the day? Thank God there's subtitles. I can't understand this gibberish, says the Bunder Dome. <laughs> oh, I'm nearly dead. Okay. All right. Hopefully the music will normal out now. Morning, Ron. Do you know what class we've got first? I heard there's flying. You heard right. I'll meet you downstairs in the entrance hall. Okay, now I'm going to want to start collecting beans like mad so I can buy everything. Do I have to go all the way downstairs to find a save? Hello there, Slytherin. Slytherin! Flying Carl was a really class act, Harry. Do you want to swap famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you a card number 81, Kwang Po, for number 43, Cyprian Yaudu. I don't have that card. Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you card number 94, Merton Graves, for number 31, Balfour Blade. I don't have that card. Walk away. Don't need to say anything else. Nice. Not through there. I feel like there was some kind of thing where you had to link up to the Game Boy Advance game to unlock a few of these doors. And I might even have it. Elderoy Lockhart is an absolute witch magnet. <laughs> Oh, Luminous Balloon. All right. I want to explore everywhere. get through there save all right all right we're gonna call it a day there i'm uh harry pottered out all right guys remember get in there. uh watch out for drumpf and harry potter is the only book you should ever read i'm number one marvity fan i love you guys and i will catch y'all later now i've actually got to like walk over and end the stream all official like later chat Love you guys.